Hey everybody. So I wanted to come and just let you guys know of a really cool experience that I just had and just the goodness of God and that Jesus is so amazing and that the word of God is true. So I was cooking dinner and it was super late. I just made dinner really late and then the chicken was a little bit frozen so I had to wait longer so anyway long story short it was like going on eight o'clock at night and I was just barely pulling the dinner out of the oven and um, I was making angel hair pasta and I went to drain the noodles and instead of getting out the strainer I just used the lid and the pan it has like these little holes and as I was doing it it slipped and the noodles started to go into my great big basin sink, which was clean. Thanks goodness. But I did that. And I was like, no, all I could think of was no, my family's hungry. <laughs> they want food. And, but the noodles started to slip down. Um, it only has the drain that is the, um, for the garbage disposal. So they started to slip down there. So I was like, no way. I was like, I'm not going to not have dinner. So I went to grab the noodles. Well, mind you, it's coming off boiling water. And um, I wasn't thinking, I just was thinking like, no way, I'm not losing my noodles. And I grabbed it with my left hand and pulled the noodles and I went, ow, and my husband's in the background um, because he has he used to have his EMT and he did crisis response. And so he's in the background going, no, don't get burned, leave it. You know, you can't see what's happening, but you can guess what's happening. And I grabbed the noodles and I grabbed two big handfuls of noodles and I put them back in the pot so that they don't slip down the drain and I burned my hand. And so I was like, oh my gosh. So I was like, okay, I can't believe this just happened. I can't believe I wasn't thinking like, what was I thinking? And it hurt, began to sting and burn. And, you know, it was the whole like surface of my hand um, because I grabbed the hot noodles. And um, so I was like the coolest thing earlier in the day, I was editing my new devotional that's nearly ready to be published and I was in um, day one, it talks about the meaning of sozo. And um, let's see if I can find it in here. It is see what, what uh, scripture it is. It is Romans 10, 9. I had looked it up and it means this word sozo. I had listed out some things that it means. So the coolest part about it is it's day one. So you don't have to wait through day 31 to figure out how good God is. But I remember I read, it says, here are some of the meanings of that word sozo, which also means salvation, protection from danger, destruction, injury, or peril, saved from disease. You've been healed, restored to health, made well, saved from eternal death, rescued, delivered from demonic strongholds, saved from evil that could obstruct the messianic deliverance. But as I was editing it, I was like, wow. Jesus protects us from injury. And I remember thinking, and I think I shared it with my husband earlier in the day, I called him and I was like, did you know that? Like, that's so cool. We even have protection from an injury. So anyway, fast forward to making dinner and I burn my hand. I'm like, okay, I know you protect us from injury. And so um, I grabbed the, I have a little tube of Arnica Montana. It's like a white substance. And after I put it on my hand, I was breathing it. And I was like, it doesn't even say it's for burns. It's, it's mainly for bruises. So I was like, I don't know if it's supposed to work or not. And then I grabbed an ice pack because my hand was stinging. And then this is really honest. My teenage son comes in the room and he goes, and he looks at me and he's very, um, direct when he talks and he goes, did you burn yourself? And I immediately was like, no. And I looked at him and I was like, no, because I didn't want him to keep talking about a burn. I needed to, what I was doing was gathering myself in that moment to partner with the word that Jesus protects from injury. And so I took my ice pack and I went in another room where nobody else was in that room, except for my dog. He followed me in there and I sat down, I closed my eyes and I just quieted my heart 
And I was like, I'm, I'm going to encounter Jesus in this. And I pictured myself, I saw myself walking up to Jesus, um, in heavenly places. And I was like, Jesus, I messed up. Like I, know that I'm one third spirit, but I forgot. I also live in an earth suit and I totally messed up and I grabbed the noodles and I just presented my hands to him. And as I did that, Jesus took my hands and we actually laughed about it because he was like, I get it. Like you forgot you're in an earth suit and things can happen. But what I was doing too, is I was saying, I believe that that is um, retroactive, like that protection from injury, that you can make it retroactive, Jesus, and you can heal these burns right now. And so I just was in total peace and I met Jesus and he took my hands in his, and it was just really uneventful other than he held my hands and he was like, I did take this for you. And so within maybe two minutes ish, I was like, okay. I was thinking, I was like, and then I started to go make dinner and it still hurt a little bit. I do actually remember I had to get, I had to get the dinner out to check on it. So I put on my glove and, um, I remember thinking, okay, I'm just going to believe that this is not going to hurt. And you know what, within a couple of minutes of that prayer, I was like, I don't feel anything like, and I was rubbing my fingers together. I'm like, it's gone. It's, there's nothing there. And I looked, my hands had been really, I didn't, I wish I would have taken a picture when I had the burn on my hands. They were just beet red, you know, cause I grabbed like boiling hot noodles and th- my hands were just normal looking just the pink skin that they normally are. And I was amazed and I was like, yes, that is your word. That's what your word says. So I just wanted to share it because I believe that was a miraculous healing and he's so good. Like the more we renew our minds to who he is and to what he has done already on the cross, like it brings us more power through Jesus We quiet our hearts. We get to that place of meeting him in the moment, bringing him whatever it is. And I'm just blown away. So I wanted to share this testimony because it's just like a simple thing, but it's powerful instead of for days having a burned hand and being inconvenienced and, and just waiting for that to naturally heal, um, or even being in pain. Like I was instantly healed. It was within a few minutes of meeting Jesus and believe and, and saying you're a good redeemer. And I believe that that is retroactive, that you protect us from injury. And I'm going to call on you for that being retroactive right now that I already got injured, but because of your blood, you can take that away and protect me from it. So Anyway, super exciting. I know I'm thrilled by that. And I just hope and pray that you guys are also seeing these encounters in your homes with Jesus as you're taking everything to him.